gonna get tough like what two, three, four weeks to uh do another broadcast. Um so sorry about that. Oh my god. So I'm gonna tell you this now because I didn't want you knowing where I lived. I lived in Vegas, but now I'm in Virginia. Uh, yeah. It's been Oh wow. What adventure. My mom decided to uh take off like like a couple days off every every few days because we didn't want to spend eight hours in the car every day, so yeah. Let's start up oh yeah, and uh I don't think I ever did a broadcast on this before. I've got a dying light the following. I can check my uh, page right now. Let's see. grateful for just me and me watching this myself. Um, guys, let me close my door so there's no noise coming in. I hate my dog start barking. Okay, um, let's see. Let's, let's do the fall. Oh yeah, we have to do the campaign. campaign. Alright guys, um, <sighs> I'm not very good at this game, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and try. Well, actually, you guys pick. Uh, pick my uh, my uh, write down and um, see what I should do. What you can pick if I this. Pick my fate. Write down. Ah, oh, crap! I dropped my controller. Write down there. Um, what? Um, what, uh, mode I should do, pick my fate, um, let's see, uh, let's see, um, pick my fate. I don't think. Um, go on, guys. Tell me which mode I should do. Pick my fate. All right. Yeah, this microphone's on. I just heard myself. Go on, guys. Pick my fate. And launch 
to do here. Activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject the stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description uh, of the virion's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions now, operating within one of my the city. Friends that have you are to my, find uh, Suleiman and locate my, uh, the stolen file before. in order to save Sorry, mankind like, from a disaster of from unprecedented Las Vegas proportions. To Virginia. It's been hard, so... Yeah. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! and then where the zombie got and the zombie bit us let's see and then right after that guy gets his uh that his bat out and smashes the skull of the zombie and he uh another one left so now we're stuck with you um not that that's a bad thing <laughs> of course um yeah so we have one viewer um go ahead and uh say hi so i can Tell, I can see what your uh, name is. If you want to, that's totally optional. I'm gonna be tr trying to be quiet every you time they talk. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. 
He blinked! What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! There's no such thing as zombies when you're a Walking Dead fan. They're called walking. <sighs> so where's Coral? Where's Coral? Little kids, I'm gonna scare you. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The bus 190. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Thirty-one. Too dangerous. And he'll die because of this guy. Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get a meal at this. And you are Crane. Uh, Thirty-one. Oh right. Um, how's Mr. your head? Crane. My head. Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. Let's see, uh... I'm gonna turn on the broadcast on my phone. Let's see. It's gonna probably take a minute to go through, but. Okay. Looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Just Hunting mirrors. Hunting airdrops, yeah. scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that is, girl. Uh, short from Call of Duty like because that. not for her, and you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antison was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antigen meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave-in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Okay. That guy seems nice. I'm not lazy, you little shit. You know this one? Yeah. What did the zombie say to his date? No. Oh God, I'll dude, punch you. enough with these stupid jokes. But what did he say? What did he say? Where do you think you're going? 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? 
Shit. It's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? leader yet. Unable to confirm identity and taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. Help! Hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Okay, don't move, okay. I'm gonna watch this in like slow motion and just... Hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Oh, 
gun. That's bad. <laughs> okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes in alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. I'm probably gonna make this video well, like 30 minutes long because I have. Um. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. You know, guys, I'm going to be a, a zombie. I'm going to be the zombie. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges. Really? What? Explo Get that. Uh, so, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what was that? I like that. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. We can do with our doors. <laughs> That's cool. Duffel um, bag somewhere. I get change. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. How did he Just not a couple get flights there? up. I mean, why is he not here? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Okay. Wait, where do you go? How do you go fast? Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. <laughs> Try not 
to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's see, I'll uh, go that way. Probably your friends with my other profile if you're watching this. Um, I actually uh, play this. I play the following though, and the following much better than this. But you know, it's um, um, I have finished 90% of the um, of the, the story on following. So this that's probably it's. Oh, I'm so good at this, so, uh, yeah. Good job. Well, I can't say okay. that I'm just Time so for the good at it. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Okay. This is the part I hate about it. You can't... The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Oh, you want me to do this too? There exactly. Um, Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay. So I'm gonna go talk to this person and then I'm gonna end the broadcast. Sorry, it doesn't get to be so long, but I have to end it for and I have to go somewhere and get ready because Well That's how things go sometimes. Okay, 
elevators like this. Like seriously, you just open a door and the elevators like that. <laughs> All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. So you hear that creaking noise, that's my uh, chair. Sorry about that. Uh, tell me if it bothers you. If it does, then just, oh well, you know. Maybe I'll fix that. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, Word around the tower is, you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more pop, my even. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Yeah, done. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so... I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. Senile. We've been collaborating via radio. Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Keep it fast. 
Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike, I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight. And Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, well, going out at night around. is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up well, safe zones and too. traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Broadcast. Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Okay. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Anderson, we are lost. <sighs> Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Hello? Oh, you're kind of blocking the way. You gonna let me go by now? You heard the man. Firecrackers. Take them. You want me to go by now? Thank you. Right now. I'll be by. Thank you. I'm outside, working for Spike. You're crying, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mamar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Okay. All right, I'm on it. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane.
think it's too late for this guy. Just give me a second. scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Everything fell out. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. They're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. Done with the car spike. People yeah. like that, you just might make it. The next trap's still spot, and I shouldn't have to tell you. Out of here, come on. Don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. 
I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. Really quickly, then I'm gonna end it, okay? Um, Why can I get by? Oh crap. What a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the infected white sunburn. This game is just so, like, just attaching. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, you guys. Know, you, you start playing, but you can't stop. I told you I wanted to go over there, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna end it here because I can't find out how to get in this place. Really? Hey, I'm just gonna end it here. I'm too stressed out. Just 
I can't do it anymore. Right. I don't see any of those guys running, like, climbing the mountain. What was that? That's where I just saw, like, one just, like, super jump. Lights are all set. You waiting for the next one then? Better hurry. Still doing this. Really? Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation here. Go check it out. Hell no, I'm ready to go home. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. ASAP means away from. Oh wait, never mind. That's that's uh, the other one. What does ASAP mean? <laughs> Is that it? Oh God, dang! This before my last one. Oh, what the heck? Where are you? Where? Oh, I guess you can't touch it. Can't touch it. My brain works like this. I would make everybody not, if they were to work out, I didn't want them to work out too much for their monster or them, or people to be fat and they like become like huge freaking zombies. But, but it, zombies are just a made up thing and if I, and I'm not in control of it, so. Uh-huh, 
What? I'm gonna have to deal with that one too. Alright, what? Oh crap. Oh god. Guy even die any? See, like, just... Chief, get out of my lap. someone to come in here and like come do it for me. Alright, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid's shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. So. bag. Nice. <laughs> 
when we make it home. <sighs> Map of the, like the back of my hand. here and make it to the uh, tower and I'm gonna quit for now I'm gonna the broadcast. I said it was gonna be 30 minutes but now it's an hour and four minutes. Yeah. Things are getting worse and worse. Um I don't have a side off like just I guess I can just say bye. I would kill for a ticket outside. What? Oh, okay. Bye, I guess. Um, see you later. I'll. Well, I guess I'll talk to you later. You can. If you uh, comment and then and tell me your name. Um, I give you a shout out to your channel if you have a channel. Um. Yeah, I've only got nine subscribers or something, but I've got subscribers, so I can at least tell you that I I, I can give you some. So yeah, um. I would kill for a ticket outside. Bye, guys. I wonder if you can still hear me.